Hello and welcome to a new PhD in the life student vlog day thing. Um, today is August 24th, it's Wednesday, and it is the first day of what I think is 19th grade. Because 12th is senior, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, yeah, 19th grade for me. Um, the semester starts today, and so I'm getting ready for the start of the semester. I am still taking classes. Um, I'm taking two classes this semester, and then probably two, maybe three next semester. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, and I only have two, maybe three after the semester to take. So I'm almost done with classes. I could have gotten them done faster. For those who don't know, wow, I'm doing a terrible job. I am going into my third year of my PhD in chemical engineering at Montana State University. Um, and I could have gotten my classes done in two years. Um, I feel like people assume that most people get them done in two years, but most everyone I've talked to doesn't because it's a lot. And so like sometimes advisors expect you to get it done in two years, but that's crazy. I think that's mostly for people who don't come in knowing their project and like getting to work on their project right away. Anyway, all this to say, starting my third year and I still have classes. So this semester, like I said, I'm taking two classes. One of them is like intro to data and statistical analysis or something like that. I don't know. It's stat 511. And I have that one today. And then the other one is, um, what is it called? Research Methods and Engineering. And that one is called Engineer, like ENGR um, 610. So yeah, that is that. I'm not super excited for them. Um, I'm nervous about statistics because statistics is my weak spot in everything I do. Like I don't feel confident in the statistics that I do for my research, which is the whole point of taking the class is to feel better about that. Um, and also it's coding in R, R Studio. And I'm nervous about that because I'm not great at computer coding, but I did just take a class that taught me MATLAB decently well. I wouldn't say decently well. I have a rudimentary knowledge of MATLAB, but I'm hoping that'll help me with the coding in R. And then the other one, the engineering, research methods and engineering, I've heard it described as basically like, this is the class where they kind of like throw in things that they don't have anywhere else to put, but they want you to learn. Um, and also, so it's just like kind of an amalgamation. And then also there's a little bit of statistics in this class. And then you kind of learn how to be a teacher. So like you have to teach a lecture to the class itself as well as to like a different class so like I'll probably try to get in to teach a seminar or undergraduate like fairly easy class <laughs> like lower level engineering class maybe I don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah so statistics is Monday Wednesday Friday the other one is Tuesday Thursday this is the first time since my fall semester of my senior year that I will be having a class every day of the week, even though it's just the two classes. So it's like not that bad, but it's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, so then next week I have a paper due for a conference that I'm going to in Paris. I'm going to the International Astronomical Congress, Astronautical Congress, sorry, I always say it wrong. And the paper for that is due September 2nd, and I just collected the data for it and wrote it down in my notebook yesterday. So I have a decent bit of work to do because I need to analyze the data, write it all up, get it looked at by people who are co-authors and stuff. So I'm a little bit nervous about the progress on that one. And then, oops, sorry, that was loud. And then in... Two and a half weeks, three weeks, no, two weeks, September 9th. So yeah, like two weeks from now, I leave for Paris and I will be in Paris for two weeks. So I'll be missing two weeks of class, 
which for the one class is just four class sessions, the engineering one. But the statistics class, it's seven sections of class and two lab sections that I'm missing. So I'm like pretty nervous about that one. And I sent my professor's emails yesterday. I was like, hey, <laughs> this is happening. And the engineering professor was like, yeah, let's talk about it on Thursday. And the stats professor hasn't responded. So I'll probably be trying to talk to him after class today if he doesn't respond to my email. But yeah, so I think that's everything I have today. Like I said, the stats class, I also might have an event for WISE, which is the Graduate Women in Science and Engineering that I am part of the leadership team for. I'm not entirely sure if it's happening today. We usually have events on Wednesday mornings, um, but I don't know if we got our stuff together in time and I was just out of town, so I don't know if we did. Um, and then I have a meeting with some people, a virtual meeting at like 3, 4 p.m. And then at 6 p.m. I'm actually meeting with my old landlord and doing, sorry, the checkout process from my old house. So that's today's day and I'm gonna finish getting ready, stop rambling, and then I will see you later. I am walking home. It's like 4.20 or so. I missed the bus just barely, but I also was kind of planning on walking home anyway because it's a really lovely day. It's a bit windy, so I hope you can hear me and not just wind. Um, I also realized I did a horrible job vlogging today because I was either like at my desk very deep in data analysis or I was in meetings with people like in person or like in groups with people in person. So sorry about that. Um, but I think I'm going to continue the vlog through the evening. Normally when I do these, it ends when I leave to go home, but I figure I'll just do a whole day vlog. Um, so on the docket for this evening is just to go leave my house for the last time, do my checkout with my landlord. <laughs> That's it, I think. Um, I also spent some time this morning trying to figure out what kind of taxes I owe because of my fellowship money that I'm getting. Um, and so I want to continue that this evening. I actually made an appointment with a financial coach tomorrow to discuss it, but I don't have a whole lot of faith that he's going to help me a whole lot. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I also just kind of wanted to see what's up with the financial coaching um, resources. But I did have a really helpful quick meeting with my advisor, just like 30 minutes, and then we had another meeting with my advisor and some collaborators um, discussing this paper that we've been working on since... Oh man, since I finished my first first author paper, so since April, um, which isn't honestly that long. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get home, work on some tax stuff, woo! As if those forms aren't the most difficult things to understand in the world. And then probably just like do my checkout, get some dinner rolling, maybe go to trivia. Most Wednesdays we go to trivia. We'll see. 
Goodbye house. It's been a lovely four and a half years. I'll miss you. <laughs> I was hoping to do a bit of like an empty house tour or something like show you like, oh, leaving the house, my room, goodbye. But I showed up and my landlord was there and he was already, he's like vacuuming and doing the steam cleaning and stuff. We already vacuumed, but he was just doing like one more. And so like, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> hugged my roommate goodbye I mean we're like really close friends and we see each other really frequently anyway um, it'll just be weird having to be like more on top of it with hanging out and not just like going over to knock on his bedroom door and being like do you want to hang out <sighs> so back home I go um, to eat dinner and make dinner with Matt and then Perhaps we will be going to the Molly Brown for trivia. I don't know. That little kid almost just went right into the street. Um, so I'm gonna focus more on driving. Bye-bye. So we had this pasta with sauce that has like field row sausage, which are um, vegetarian like meat substitutes bell peppers, some shallots, and um, zucchini from my cousin's garden that she brought us when she stayed here briefly. And now I am divvying out leftovers for lunch tomorrow for Matt and I, and then I have to do dishes. So it is 7.45 p.m. I'm walking to the Molly Brown for trivia. It starts at eight. Um, one of my friends is gonna meet me there and then Matt and a couple of his buddies are gonna meet us later. Um, my one friend was like, I'd be down for like maybe a beer or two, but I'm not gonna stay for the whole time. So I texted Matt, I was like, hey, rally your buddies. So yeah, do you like my shirt? It's a corduroy Pendleton that I got from a garage sale for like five bucks. Pretty big fan of it myself. Um, also, I showered before this, in case you couldn't tell that I looked different. Um, but anyway, hopefully we kick some booty at trivia. Uh, you can't film in there because uh, I'm not allowed to have your phones out during trivia so that people don't cheat. So I'll keep you updated. We are back from trivia now. It is like 10.30. Yeah, 10.29. And I just brushed my teeth and we're about to head to bed. Um, we did terribly at trivia tonight. Very poorly. It was not a good night for trivia for us, but it was fun. Um, so yeah, sorry I did such a not great job vlogging today. Normally I feel like I'm better. I guess you could be the judge of that. Um, but I have a bunch more grad school videos if you are interested. So check out that playlist. Um, and I'll check you in the next, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.